I'm sorry, we're closed. I'm just on my way home, so if you'll excuse me. But actually, if, if you got a few minutes, it's important that I speak to you. We've talked already. I don't see what more you could possibly need from me. I'm looking to get some answers about Esme Prince. I told you before, I don't know any Esme Prince. She needs your help. She's in prison and, and she's pregnant. Sounds like your friend's in a bad way, but I can't help you. Please leave. Look, I I'm sorry. I, I traveled a long way for this. I can't leave until I get some answers. Have a seat, then. I'll just grab a pint. Want one? Yeah, yeah, sure. That'd be uh, incredible. Stout or ale? I uh, can uh, make mine a stout. Thanks. Brilliant. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, easy, easy. Maggie Fitzgerald. Hey, we need to talk. Please don't hurt me. I, I, I want to make trouble for you. We don't, we don't want to hurt you. We are only here to talk. According to the woman from the b, &B this is Maggie. Why'd you lie to us? What are you afraid of? Or is it who? We know who you are, but you don't know us. I'm Sam McCall. I'm a private investigator. I'm a Detective Dante Falconeri with the Port Charles Police Department in New York. Please forgive me. No one's asked about Esme since I came here. And then you show up with a cockamamie story about her being pregnant and in prison. Well, it's, it's actually not a story. She is pregnant and she's in prison. That's awful. What happened? Did the father lead her into trouble? Well, uh, well that's complicated, but she's been accused of some pretty serious crimes that she didn't commit. And then, unfortunately, some that, that she did. I, I, she had a horrible accident and, and she lost her memory. You and Esme have a close relationship, right? We did. Well, you might be the only person with information that could exonerate her. Will you help us? Of course I'll help Esme. I stopped being her nanny, but I never stopped caring about her. Wait, why, did, why would you think that Dante and I were setting a trap for you? I haven't heard from Esme in some time, and... Then you turned up asking questions. I'm afraid I assumed the worst. Which is what? I was afraid Esme's father had taken her and then sent you to make sure I never utter a word about him. Ever since Esme tracked him down, I've been living in fear that he'll come after me. You know who Esme's father is? We would like to talk to him. I mean, he could be the key to proving that Esme didn't commit these crimes, right? What exactly is he accused of? There's a serial killer who's been terrorizing poor Charles. It isn't Esme, it can't be. Uh, that's what we believe also, and, and we're trying to prove that. So if you could just tell us Esme's father's name. Her father is the devil incarnate. I tried to warn Esme. I told her she'd be far better off without him, but she was always desperate to know her parents. Well, who is he? We need a name. Yeah, please, Maggie. We might be able to save her. His name is Chamberlain. Ryan Chamberlain. Oh, boy. 